much you seven i'm back okay so i've been getting a lot of comments lately and people have been asking me to talk about you know how someone gets a good life how you know how not to end up in a certain position you know and just you know kind of like just some tips um, and these these tips can be for men or women because anybody can apply them okay so I'm just gonna give y'all some of my tips you know how I do it so basically it's very important who you allow into your life okay I don't just allow anybody in my life okay I don't just allow anybody in my life even when I was young I did not just allow anybody in my life I chose certain people to hang out with to date or to be around uh, that were actually in the position or on their way to the position that I wanted to be in myself so I'm not gonna hang around people that are lower than me or that are going in the wrong direction that I'm you know not going obviously because those people are going to distract you and bring you down from you know where you're headed so you don't want to hang around certain types of people okay it's time to let go of those friendships or stop hanging around those people that aren't going anywhere in life and you know who they are so you kind of got to distance yourself from them and either make new friends or hang out by yourself okay uh, another tip is to only invest or purchase things that are going to benefit you or take you to the next level of life that you want to be you know um, a lot of people get messed up right here they mess up their priorities okay they will actually instead of saving up for a car I've mentioned this in my other video they will go out and buy expensive clothing jewelry purses shoes and not have a car okay instead of like a car can benefit you it can get you from A to B it can get you to work it can drive you can be an uber driver I don't know but it can help you out more than some clothes okay so you have to get your priorities in order and only invest in things that are going to benefit you in the long run like a car versus shoes okay um the next the next good tip i have is you know pick something you know if you're going to work or do something for a living make sure you enjoy it and you like it because nothing is worse than going to a job you hate every day nothing is worse as doing something that you hate to do and to get paid for okay nothing is worse than that so find a skill a trade go to school for something that you actually enjoy um, if you're good at it you're gonna make money at it okay uh, you know don't just there is no quick get rich ever okay there is no quick way to get rich unless you win the lottery okay a lot of people I know are always talking about oh if I do this I'll be I'll make this much money in two days and it never works out for them and we all know it's just a scam so you know put put time and effort into something get good at it improve on it grow grow get better skilled at it and one day you will have the type of money you want because you'll be actually good at something and people will pay you to do it okay that's just common sense okay loans Ugh. don't take out any loans unless you can afford to pay them and plus more okay don't don't go out and take out a bunch of loans get a bunch of credit cards shop do this don't do that if you can't pay cash for it and it's not a giant like thing like a house or car don't finance it okay if you can't pay cash for it you don't need it okay if it's school you need to uh try to get grants or something you know but don't try to get these loans because you'll always be in debt and you don't want to be in debt okay that makes your credit bad when you can't pay the bills then you can't get a car then you can't get a house so now you have all this bad credit because you were too your priorities weren't in order you couldn't save your money you know you bought stuff you didn't need and here you are with bad credit and can't do anything okay so don't do that okay if you can't pay cash for it and it's not a car or a house you don't need to finance it okay that's just it um next thing you know don't go backwards in life if you have gone if, if you 
if you're if you break up with someone because y'all were not compatible and y'all brought each other down don't try to go backwards and get with that person move on to somebody better okay and i've talked about that before the mate you choose the partner you choose the type of person you date will determine where you're headed in life okay so if they weren't compatible with you if they were dragging you down and y'all are broken up that was the best thing that could have happened so move on to bigger and better stop trying to look back okay um, moving forward moving into the future moving into a better life you don't want to keep going backwards and thinking about the past that's over so move on okay next tip save your money okay save your money instead of going out to the club every night instead of buying this this and that save your money sometimes you know save your money because one day you're going to see something that you really want and you're going to be able to just go buy cash you know um one day you're going to see a car that you really want you're going to be able to just go put the down payment on it or pay for it in cash one day you're going to want a house and when you buy a house let me tell you you have to have a lot of money saved okay because you're going to have to pay lots and lots of lots and lots of down payments closing costs earnest money you're going to need money okay so if you ever if you plan on buying a house start saving your money okay um don't don't hang around people that always want to borrow stuff from you and need something from you because they're going to drain you okay stop hanging around those people just say i'm sorry i can't hang around you no more you're toxic Bye bye you know maybe in a kinder way but you don't need to hang around toxic people that are always asking to borrow money you know mm -mm, you don't need that in your life um it's better to be alone and to focus on yourself and to prioritize things and get things in order for yourself and then it is to be around a bunch of people that are draining you and taking you in the wrong direction and making you make mistakes and you know just dragging you down it's better to be alone and then when you have yourself in order you know that's going to attract other people who have themselves in order so if y'all are looking for like the perfect man or woman you know stop hanging around losers and people that drain you uh and you will start to attract these people that have what you have equal or more okay and then y'all can benefit off of each other a lot of people say well you know if you if you marry a man with more money than you you're a gold digger but that's just not true if you marry a man with more money than you um you know chances are that you had something to begin with to be able to be in the environment that he was in and able to um conversate on the same level of intelligence with this person so obviously you had you know you had something going for yourself as well so remember that you're not going to find you know a rich man to take care of you hanging out with losers okay that's not going to happen so and for men you're not going to find a woman who's going to you know be um an equal because i know that's what y'all want these days equal uh a woman that's going to pay half your bills or half the bills if y'all get together you're going to find that hanging out with losers you're going to have to step up your game go to a nice place put on some you know decent attire uh you know have something in your bank have your credit looking good you know you got to look good on paper as well these days because people can just look up your name and see your credit score online be like mm -mm. so yes credit scores are uh very important when you're trying to you know get married and have a life with someone or you know to purchase a house or a car you need good credit so people need to really focus on their priorities savings not taking out stupid loans no credit cards pay for stuff in cash if you don't if you can't afford it in cash you don't need it okay and then one day you can have you know the type of life that you want with no debt you know sometimes a guy with a lot of money he sees a woman uh you know she might look good and stuff like that but if she comes with a ton of debt she's not gonna look so good you know when i met my husband i had no debt i might have had one credit card bill for less than five hundred dollars you know and a car note which was almost done being paid i had zero debt so you know girls when y'all are looking for guys and you have a ton of debt they're not going to want to marry you and put their name on that debt guys the same thing when a girl is looking for to marry someone and you have a ton of debt she's not going to want to inherit that debt when she marries you so it's very important to get debt out of your 
life so that you can be free you know i don't know like uh, people just have the wrong priorities they're worried about this loser cheating on cheating on you with another loser let them losers go okay move on to bigger and better okay the best revenge is success the best revenge is getting money the best revenge is when you can look back on all the people that you've left behind and and say i'm so glad i left those people behind because look where i am now and look what they still are there are people still where they were when i left them 10 years ago okay they're still in the same place, making the same amount of money, talking the same talk, okay? You don't want to be there with those people. Get up, move. Does this sound like an Everest commercial for, <laughs> for like the Everest College? Get up off your couch, move, do something, you know? I don't care if you start a video channel talking trash, at least you're doing something. Uh, <laughs> start a, you know, start something, do something. Start your own business, I don't care. Do something online. You know, get a, a skill, go to school for something, be somebody, you know. You're not going to ever, you're not going to ever make it in life if you don't get up and do something. Like seriously, even if you, your goal is to find a rich man, you got to get up and maintain yourself in order to even do that. You got to have some type of job to maintain looks and uh, nails and hair and your rent or apartment wherever you live until you find that man. You still have to. You know, be on that level to you can get into places where those type of men hang out. You can't just look raggedy. Okay, so y'all remember that. You know, always be improving. Always be self-improving. Whatever you do should be a step towards improving yourself. If it's not, you're going in the wrong direction. And that's why, you know, life is not so good. So, every action you take is going to lead to your future. So, just remember that. Okay? If you're, if you're doing bad stuff, if you're doing drugs and drinking and not going to work on time, losing jobs, cheating, getting caught, getting kicked out of your house, you know, having kids without, you know, the man left you and, you know, leaving kids everywhere and you can't pay child support and, you know, in and out of court, jail, you know, you're going the wrong direction and your life will never be good. And if you try to type some advice to somebody and tell somebody this, this, and that, and your life is not together, do you really think they're gonna to listen to you? When you have a terrible life, your opinion doesn't even matter. People will look at you and like, what are they, why, why are they even talking? Okay, if you can't trade places with somebody, if you don't wanna trade places with someone, you will not take their advice. You'll be just like, what do they know, you know? So, basically what I'm saying is, get get priorities together, get your life together, do something positive and going in the right direction um you know no matter what your goal is men or you know women no matter what your goal is stop going backwards it just it's not beneficial to you or your children your future generations if you don't have children you know you don't make anyone proud you gotta you gotta move forward okay if no one is proud of you and no one can brag on you and you're not excelling and doing better each year or even every day you're going backwards okay so i'm gonna see y'all later thank you guys so much for watching thumbs up and if y'all have any good topics for videos put them in the comments um youtube acting crazy so sometimes i can't comment back so i'm sorry if you're asking me questions youtube is acting crazy and i can't really answer all the comments they'll let me answer a few but then it just cuts off so that's what's going on there. I'll see y'all later and have a good day. Bye.